see me for who I am from the first time we met. When you heard that I spoke Russian and was a rodeo queen, but was also a sorority girl who loved fantasy novels. <laughs> You ground me, keep me safe, and love me for this way. <laughs> I love your kind heart and brilliant mind. I had been looking for that perfect guy, and you were there all along. I wanted to finish this with a quote from Douglas Adams' novel. I think at separate times during our relationship, we both had one of Arthur's moments of revelation. Today will be another. They looked at each other for a moment. The moment became a longer moment, and suddenly it was a very long moment. So long one could hardly tell where all the time was coming from. For Arthur, who could usually contrive to feel self-conscious if left alone for long enough with a Swiss cheese plant, the moment was <laughs> one of sustained revelation. He felt on the sudden like a cramped and newborn animal who awakes one morning to find the door to his cage hanging quietly open and the savanna stretching gray and pink to the distant rising sun while all around new sounds are waking. He wondered what the new sounds were as he gazed at her openly wondering face and her eyes that shared with shared surprise. Her eyes that smiled, <laughs> smiled with, shared, with a shared surprise. He hadn't realized that life speaks to you with a voice, a voice that brings you answers to the questions you continually ask of it, had never consciously detected it or recognized its tones until now, it said something it had never said before, which was yes. Today I'm saying yes to forever with my best friend. Everyone tells you not to talk religion or politics on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> what did we talk about on our first date? Both religion and politics. I knew there was something special starting when we then had a second date. <laughs> Everyone knows the word love is often overused. I want you to know exactly what I mean when I say I love you. When I say I love you, it's not because I want you or because I can't have you. It has nothing to do with me. I love what you are, what you do, how you try. I've seen your kindness and your strength. I've seen the best and the worst of you. And I understand with perfect clar clarity exactly what you are. You're a hell of a woman. <laughs> You're my best friend and the love of my life. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives being goofy, weird, nerdy, and awesome together. I, Lauren, pick you, Robert. Be my lawfully wedded husband. My best friend, my partner in crime, and my heart. Now and forever. In the presence of our family and friends, I offer you this promise. To always be there to hold your hand in laughter and in tears, to encourage your dreams and relieve your fears. I promise to love you no matter what may come zombie apocalypse or alien invasion, <laughs> to grow with you and learn from you for all the days of our life. <laughs> I, Robert, take you, Lauren, be my lawfully wedded wife, my best friend, my partner in crime, and my partner, now and forever. In the presence of our family and friends, I offer you this promise to always be there to hold your hand in laughter and in tears, to encourage your dreams and repeat your fears. I promise to love you no matter what may come. Zombie apocalypse or alien invasion. <laughs> to grow with you and learn from you for all the days of our lives. <laughs> Scottish or Celtic clan has their own family party. 
Traditionally, the groom pins a plaid or sash with the family tartan on his bride after the exchange of rings. This symbolizes the bride joining her husband's clan. In honor of Robert's Scottish heritage, the bride and groom will now exchange traditional Celtic vows and then pin the Watson family tartan on them. You are blood of my blood and bone of my bone. I give you my body that we two might be one. I give you my spirit till our life shall be done. You cannot possess me for I belong to myself. But while we both wish it, I give you that which is mine to give. You cannot command me for I am a free person. But I shall serve you in those ways you require. And the honeycomb will taste sweeter coming from my hand. vested in me by the state of Texas to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now get your bride. <laughs> Family, uh, family, I present to you Lauren and Robert Watson. 